So in service pools, you just create a service pool, you give it a name and a command and the base service that you want to use and it's a Linux non-persistent. And the availability for initial available services is the initial available services. If we set it to 10, for instance, it will create 10, but this value of maximum number of services to provide should be bigger than initial available services. So now we can create up to 10 services. So services to keep in cache level one, we can actually prepare three services. So if any of the, of the initial services is being taken, there is a ready service created and in a waiting state in cache level one. And by each turn, the cache level two creates another service and escalates it to the cache level one. But we need to specify as well a value in cache level two. By saving, our instances will be created. So now that we have created our service pool, let's go and scroll down to assign a transport and assign a group and if we want to assign a calendar for access, restriction or for automation. So for transport, we actually have assigned HTML5, RDP tunneled and RDP direct. So in order to assign a transport, it's easy. You just click on new and you choose the transport with credentials matching your template and save. Now that we have chosen a transport, we go now and choose a group in order to set access method. So for this case, we'll choose internal database and group test. So the group test is added to our publication. So now we can see that the state is active. And now by going to publications, we can see that our publication is in a valid state, which means that we can now go to user mode and try to access our desktop. And we have HTML5 that always uses the tunneler, either in LAN or WAN, because it's using HTTPS. And HTTPS should go through SSL certificate. And the certificate is managed, or SSL is managed by the tunneler. So by clicking on HTML5, our instance is ready so now you can start using your machine. And here is the access through RDP. And you can see your machine and you can enable redirection of USB and other modules. And you can listen to music and you can visualize videos.